Hi everyone, I'm Gina R. And I'm back with another currency search. Hi everyone and welcome back. I picked up $200 in ones and I'm going to search them looking for fancy serial numbers, any rare star notes, or possibly an error which I've not found. I came very close to it in my last hunt where the star was almost filled or over inked. Well, enough said about what I plan to do. I will be using Rob Fine's treasure map. There's a lot of information listed. If you're interested in getting one, down below in the description, I'll have a link to his store so that you can look at this mat and also his coin row hunting mats. He has a lot of good stuff there. Well, let's go ahead and get started with strap number one. Well, I went through that strap and here's what I found. I did find a Where's George note. It's stamped right here and it's also stamped in the back and up here on the side. I already went and entered that one. I like finding these and entering the information about where I found it and its condition. I also found a quad eight note. There's four eights in the serial number. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go. There's actually five eights in the serial number, but four of them are together. And like I've said in the past, I'm just trying to see if I can find a matching pair to this. Not that this is valuable. So I'll set that off on the side. And yeah, we did find one star note. We're off to a good start. So let me go ahead and look at the second strap and I'll be back with my finds. Okay, strap number two had quite a bit of finds. I did find another trinary, one, three, and sixes. And also one, three, and five. And two, five, and seven. So I did find three trinary. I found a couple of star notes. We'll be entering those into my currency collection. This one is written on. And look at that. Three star notes in that strap. That's pretty amazing. And then the last find in, in this strap was an older note, a 1995. And if you look at Rob's Finds Treasure, he does have the 1995 listed um, to be a possible web note. Basically, when they're being printed, there are two ways. They have one where the sheets go through one at a time, and then as far as web notes, it's continuous. It's like a roll of paper just continuously going. Just like you see in the old movies of newspapers being printed, that's how uh, these are. Now, to tell if you have one of those notes, if you look in the back, the easiest way is to look next to trust. If you see a number there, you have a web note. So since we don't have a number there, this is not a web note. This is just regular printing. So let me go ahead and see if any of these star notes are rare printings. What I mean by that, are they a part of a low print run? All right, I'll be back with my... Uh, what, what did I find out? So, hang on. Well, after going and looking up these star notes, these are part of a high print run. And uh, the first one was 3.2 million out of 8,820,000. The second one was 3.2 million out of seven million and forty thousand and the last one was also three point two million 
to uh, print it and total print it was 4.2 million. So these were not rare at all. But the first note that I found, which was a 2013, what did I forget? Oh, huh? I put zeros in, I mean, um, O's instead of zeros. So, okay, the serial number looks correct, and let's go. This one is part of a low print run. As you can see, it is in the red section of the total that were printed. Only 250,000 of these notes were printed, and they the total printed. So that's pretty low. And if you look at it, it's 48,712 out of 250,000. So this is an awesome find. Wow. So I'm pretty excited about getting a low print run uh, size here for the star note. Now, there are much lower uh, print runs to be found out there, but still, this is pretty cool. This is what you're looking for, for something that's 250000 or less. As you saw, both indicators were in the red. Wow. Well, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye, everyone.